There's definitely more stuff to find here, so I'm going to look around some more. I, I just did a quick search, and there's some cool things to find. Um, we need to go to kind of like the middle of town and then to the north. Just don't know. I'm going to do that effectively. Ow. Tricky. Oh, there we go. We need to get that. Okay. I think I know how to get that. Let's get back up here. Is that over here? Oh, there it is. Toxic mushroom. There's more stuff. We haven't really been over there, have we? Oh, there's another tower, too. Okay. Okay. Should have noticed that. And there's an item there, also. really tricky platforming on torrent. By the way, in terms of looking stuff up, I'm going to be like, I'm going to search like around. I think I'll search the area and then I'll be, I might look up some stuff afterwards or if someone suggests something to go find, then I'll do that. I think it'll be more fun for me to like just search the area myself to see what I get. And I'm not, I'm not going to get everything, even in the slightest. Because if I do that, I'm never going to finish, never going to get to the DLC. Staff of Loss. So this is something I wanted to get. Might actually be able to use this. Staff missing its glintstone, wielded by sorcerers who believe that discovery comes through acts of ascetism. Asceticism. Being ascetic. It's like... Being poor. Not having a lot. Simple, simple life. The staff only distinguishes itself when casting invisibility sorceries, but that is reason enough for some to wield it. So it's scales with dexterity but lower int so boost invisibility sorcery interesting okay so the other thing is to the north big thing which is something that i remembered oh we didn't go this way okay yeah 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 now this i might not be able to do Um, we'll see what I'd like to be able to do it because it's going to give me something sweet. Let me just rest and we'll uh, heal up. She'll take on a challenge befitting and of my skills. I'm going to get destroyed. <laughs> Okay. Well, actually, maybe I should, uh... Should 
Should I use all these? Maybe I can level up. Give me uh, a better chance. Yes. I really think Vigor is probably going to be the best chance. A little more HP. Although, I am fighting from range, so. If I use this, will that be enough to get another level? Yes. That's where my damage comes from. Wish me luck, everybody. Weak foe ahead. Oh, I hope so. Oh, that's going to happen so many times. It's just why is such a weird interaction button? Knock Sorceress and Monk. dodge so easily. What am I supposed to do? Like, how do you, like... Okay, so you gotta get him to, like, attack and then hit him? I gotta remember is people beat these bosses level one, right? So Okay, maybe that's closer to the stake. Maybe it's right there. It's like I don't I don't know how to Well that's not closer. I don't know how to deal with the dodging. See, even these guys can't can't mess with my amazing dodging skills. I do have this stuff, gravity stone. Maybe that'll be some work. One day. Whoa! That's pretty good. Unfortunately, once they're gone, they're gone. Holy crap. A range on that. I am really not appreciating the range on that. Unfortunately, the, the problem with using consumables is they're, they're consumed. <laughs> now I don't have them anymore. Okay. Or get close enough so that they don't can't react. Oh, or attack like Okay, that's that's nice.
Now, I don't know if I have to kill them both at the same time. I did pretty well. I'm going to run out of magic, though. Let's try the glintstone pebble. So dead. I think maybe the glintstone pebble is going to be better? Because it casts faster and it seems to interrupt their attacks. Mace, the one with the mace. So the second attack is like as much higher range. Okay, now I have him up against the wall. Fuck. I'm dead. Oh, no, we're good. God, it's so annoying. <laughs> it's so annoying to just be dodged like that. It's almost like you want to try to hit the guy. No. Okay. It's like, it's like if you aim at the guy in the back, but the person in the front's in the way, it seems like they dodge less often. Yeah, that's too slow. Hold down. I'm not using my own advice. Look, they're surrounding me. Seems to be if I like move up into them, they're less likely to dodge. do this. the attack back off that 
was a nice one. I want to get them lined up so I can hit both of them. I'm dead. a much better approach. Definitely not. That's not a good idea. nicely though. Okay, I just need to get over here now. Trying I want to really want to get them lined up. Interesting, the guy still dodges in the back. trapping me here. One's down. This guy seems like they're going to be trickier, though. Okay. I've got my timing, though. You just go up, bait their attack, jump, like, jump back, and shoot out of range, and try to catch both of them. All right. I like the... Base one, the monk. Great start. Look up 
Oh fuck. Yeah, that didn't that didn't go so well. <laughs> the swordstress is like a lot faster. We want that monk out front. I don't think the swordstress is has as much HP though. It is worth noting the uh, where this is, Town of Sorcery, and that there's Nox here. That's going to come up later on. Actually, no, they have the same amount of HP. Forget what I said. They hit both of them there. Well, let's try it the other way around. Dodge into that, you fool. Who's the fool now? You're close enough, though, I think. Oh, I hit them. man. Right, this is better. on that one is just so much bigger. Oh, you dodge into that. Good. I like it when you do that. I think I got one more attack. Oh, God. I was like, I was like, this is not good. That was close. Need to get a better angle here. Okay. Uh, they're not lined up, but we can still get some hits in. Oh, 
no, I had them so... Oh, I got greedy. I should have known I wasn't far enough away. Totally doable, though. Okay, let's get this guy up front. In fact, I don't even need to back off, do I? Or I don't need to roll back a lot of the time. You just keep I'm just continuing to refine this approach. Because it will work. I gotta be careful because we're getting surrounded here. Oh shit. I got greedy. And they backed right off. Uh oh. That's not good. I got both of them on me. Okay, I'm gonna have to make a move here unless they unless they don't come any further. Oh, they come further. Okay, okay, okay. Your turn. Shit. Yes, dodge into that. I got this, guys. I love it when the back one dodges into the attack. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Here we go. One down. All right, patience. Patience. One more. Victory achieved! Yes! First try, everybody! 
We did it. Nox flowing sword. Awesome. That was super fun. I'm really going to enjoy exploring magic. It's a totally different way of playing. I mean, similar, but it feels different. Like, you'd have to get your different ranges and, like, timings down. Whew. Okay, let's take a look at the blade. Can't equip it yet, so we need 15 decks. A grim weapon wielded by swordsmen of the Eternal City. The Shotel has a blade as fine as a needle, forged from the liquid metal of Silver Tear. It is thoroughly tempered until hardened. That message up there, I was like, there's an item. And this is the prize I think that I wanted. We get teleport someplace else. Lusat's Glintstone Staff. Apparently this is supposed to be a really good starting staff. Which I can't use yet, so I need... 52 it! Staff of the... Is that what level you're supposed to be here? Staff of the Primeval Glintstone Sorcerer Lusat. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Enhances power of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Well, uh, we got we got a lot of levels, so I definitely want to uh, mainline int so we can start using that. Uh, I mean, I'm not I'm not that far away. Plus, we get to level up some more right now. Do I just, like, put it all in int? I mean, I guess so. Because I'd love to be able to use that. I think we're done here for now. So let's uh, teleport back to where we got teleported from, uh, which was... Oh, yeah, they show you where the NPCs are. Forgot about that. That was down here. Oh, we don't have a uh, don't have grace there. So I guess we'll pop to here. Lake North. I think this is right around where the Oh, this is fine too. Because I kind of wanted to um, I kind of wanted to go back over here. Also, I feel like Didn't I miss something here? There's like... See this thing? There's like something where you could see from above. What's going on? Maybe not the... Oh yeah, there it is. And there's an item there too. Okay. And there's a Sight of Grace. Let's get that one. So close. There's one right over there, too. Just checking to see if there is an event. I don't want to take on that big dude again. Kicked our butt. But let's see if I can sneak up to this spot. Where there's an item. A map. Okay. That's what it is. It's maps. Wow, you didn't see me. Yep, you did. Not that I need to be that concerned. Probably strong enough to take him out. So the map... 
right. Right. Right, 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 right. Hatches is over there. This is where we're getting pointed to. I kind of want to check over here before we go too far. So I'm going to go back to this church and just go up north west. See if there's I thought there was a this way, Tarnish. Oh, this is what have a word. This is what I, I remembered happening here. That's why I slept till the uh, evening. Waifu. A pleasure to meet thee, Tarnished. I am the witch, Renna. I'd heard tell of a Tarnished hurtling about atop a spectral steed. And upon looking into the matter, the talk, I surmise, is of thee. Thou art possessed of the power, no? To call forth a spectral steed named Torrent. Now notice something distinct about her. She has two faces. It's kind of subtle. One of them looks spectral on the left side. You can see kind of the hair flowing down. And the other one almost looks like a doll. Ah, as I had hoped, I was entrusted this for thee. By Torrent's former master. Spirit calling bell. That's what we need for the spirits. Okay. I wonder who... I actually don't know who Torrent's former master is. Let me know in the comments section if that's something that um, is known. Lone Wolf it's Ashes. It's a bell of calling forth spirits. There's a hint there. Summon them with it. From ash and return to the earth tree. The spirits will obey thine command, but briefly, as they recall battles past. Also, she has now four it is thine arms. To do with as thou wishest. Forgive mine intrusion, tarnished. I doubt we shall again meet. But all the same, learn well the lands between. How long will it be, I wonder? Before the tarnished tire of a basin to the two fingers. Ah. Oh, that's kind of cool that she disappears in that direction. So there's a sense that the two fingers might have some kind of um, plan that doesn't fit with hers and also what the tarnish should be up to. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? And maybe we shouldn't uh, trust this uh, guidance. I wanted to get some more of these cookbooks, huh? And I definitely want this telescope. Do I have... We have some smithing stones also. I guess I can sell these. I like to keep all the weapons in case I want to play around with them. Did I read this? One of the weapons originating from the two fingers this is the cipher pata. A formless sequence of ciphers comprise its blade. And as such, no shield can repel it. It deals holy damage. The furtive inscription appears to hang in the air. The language of light spoken by the two fingers. It's a lot like uh, Lord of the Rings script. Sell this to you. Godric Soldier Greaves. Oh yeah, this is what we got from Patches, I think. Trousers made of coarse material commonly worn in the lands between. It's like that's all that he was able to collect. I guess I don't have any runes to sell. Okay, I really want that telescope, so... Goodbye for now. They can craft some stuff and sell it. App check. I don't know if I'm going to be summoning other players at all. What is it? 
that's worth 10. Probably, I, I freaking never use this stuff. There we go. Beautiful. Goodbye. Nice to do business. Should I? Oh, I can't. Okay, I can't. Oh, I don't have the. I don't have the runes necessary. Do the upgrade. Okay. Well, I'm glad we came back here because I do remember speaking to her before, and I really uh, think we're gonna be meeting again because I have plans with her. Look at this. So pretty. Golden leaves falling down from the herb tree, right? I thought that was an enemy over there where that bush was. Oh, more of these things. Stagnant water. And these things poison, right? We'll see places where there's flowing water. There's kind of this, um, I think it's a Shinto thing. Stagnant water, it represents death and flowing water represents life. Oh, there's another crypt, that's right. I thought, I thought I remembered it, another crypt. Sorry, it's just fixing something down there. I'd like to go. I want to go into those because they may offer up some upgrade materials for our weapons. And now it's raining, too. What are these guys doing? It's like digging in, into the ground. So I th those are tarnished too, right? Because um, there are those that are like, like the actual undead, like the skeletons and stuff. I lost track of where that was pointing to. Over here. There we go. Not that I'm going to do like every single one of these, but we'll do them when we come across them. This is the Stormfoot Catacombs. There's like this, there's this term called destined death, which is I'm still learning about, but that's been um, destined death has been uh, sealed currently. And there was um, an event that occurred that uh, is, um, how could I put this? Like uh, allowing undead to live. A proper death means returning to the Erd tree. Here we go. Have patience. Until the time comes and the roots call to you. Remember we saw the, the dead bodies? 
intertwined with the roots of a tree before. But since death and death has been locked away, it's like it's not happening for some people. I, and I'm not sure about these guys, what these guys are all about. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's reset here. Let's reset, let's reset. Also, I think I want to... Maybe do two and three. Because we're not fighting the boss anymore. Oh yeah, and the bell too. Some things we need to do. Um, let's make this the... Oh! <laughs> uh, this reminds me too, the Baldachin's Blessing. Um, this lowers your HP by 5% while you're carrying it, so... I'll just use it. It'll buff me for a bit. Not very much, but... And the... The bell? Do I need to equip that? Or does it autom I think it automatically uses the bell when you use the, the uh, ashes. Spirits of wolves chased from their uh, pack. They later encountered a nameless tarnished who welcomed them as hunting companions. The wolf spirits overwhelm enemies with their agility, aiding the summoner in combat. I think we'll use Engvel. But once again, I don't think we can use them everywhere. Okay. There's two of them. There. Did the other one fall from above? Ah, imp head cat. Interesting. Resembling a cat, it holds trace amounts of feline intelligence. Made, uh, made from the largely unaltered head of an impish golem. I mean, I could wear it. What's my uh, equip load? 22.9. We probably want to be pretty, pretty nimble. So I think, I think let's stick to lighter stuff. Root resin. So this is the door that's going to open. It's got, looks like it's the Erd tree on there. When we uh, flick the switch later. See ya, buddy. Luckily we can use that same technique to avoid their uh, missiles too. Great Violet. I see. Purple flower that blooms in graveyards, purely used for crafting items. The hue of ghost flame, it's believed to be useful in calling for spirits. Anything cool here? Early flower that is faded to a pale scarlet, found it blooming in rotten lands. That's we got that in the rotten lands. A symbol of faith in Saint Trina. 
Mikola's Lily. Delicate water lily of unalloyed gold. So that's related to Mikola, which is a... I think that's the focus of the DLC, is Mikola. And uh, I'll say this a lot. We're going to learn more about uh, him later. Unalloyed gold is pure gold, right? Uh, has started to fade and wilt. A flower signifying faith in the Halic tree. A different tree. Thought to be beloved by the Empyrean Mikella in his youth. So the Empyrean, um, they're not, once again, not a race of people similar to the Tarnished. Um, if they're, if, if I remember correctly, they're, they're people that not, could become Elden Lord. I'll have to, I'll have to look up again what that means, Empyrean. Um... And then we've got root resin. The roots of the great tree were once linked to those of the Erd tree. The roots of the great tree, huh? Or so they say. And it is for this reason catacombs are built around great tree roots. So those other trees that we're seeing, I guess, are great trees. Resin secreted from the roots of the great tree can also be found near trees on the surface. Cool, okay. I always wondered about those smaller trees. Actually, I'm going to quickly look up uh, Empyrean just so I can be clear since we're... I talked about it, I want you guys to know what it means. Empyreans are special beings that are capable of becoming gods of a new age and forging a new order that governs the world. One such way in which they can achieve this is by becoming the vassal, sorry, vessel of the Elden Ring, which is what um, Marika is. So it's even above Elden Lord, right? It's become the vessel for the Elden Ring. And currently the vessel for the Elden Ring is um, Queen Marika, who's who's missing in the world right now. Whoa, okay. No one seems to know where she is. Wow, that's that's intense. Oh god! Oh, I'm still alive! Oh my god. Can't I, like, attack those or something? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Prattling Pat, or Pate, sorry. Hello! Let's check out the, uh, the lore on that. But I went past it. Twisted clay sculpt uh, in the shape of a human head. And it's voice that says, hello. A wistful fetish that imparts voices and words on an eternal journey. That is so freaking creepy looking. Now, can I just... Oh, it probably doesn't go far enough. Okay, go up. Save some uh, FP. Someone's attacking over there. Whoops. <laughs> All right, you're down there. <laughs> you stay down there, I'm gonna go up.
I like how you can do like combos of magic. It's really um, flowing. Like I said, I don't really use magic normally in these games. Wandering Noble Ashes. That's cool. It's it's just it's feeling like a fresh game. In that sense. Oh, this is where we started from. I don't know why I hit X. Wait, <laughs> I play so many games that I just I get oh shit, I get stuff confused. Okay. Okay, okay. I don't know I even know if I can fall down there. Even though it, it prompts on the screen what to press, I get confused sometimes. that other guy that fell down. Oh, I thought he was in here. I see one. I see them. Wait for them to fall. Oh, the fuck, there's no one there. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, shit! No! <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. They hit the thing. <laughs> they hit it. It's okay. I think I think I got what I needed, right? Oh, well played. Now I want to get my my runes back. Didn't mean to do that. Might as well get these again. Oh yeah, the state of the level uh, remains. Butterfly. Oh, well now I have to come back. I don't care. One thousand two hundred thirty-three. It's not, not the end of the world. I should have taken my time, but I got impatient. Now I think I know who we're up against here, which is who I thought we were fighting in the last catacombs. This is the first bot that boss that I fought when I first played the game. It's cool to experience it in a different order. Erdtree Burial Watchdog. So yeah. They used to be, it said that these roots used to be connected to the Erdtree, but they're not anymore. Maybe because Destined Death is, uh... Is locked away? Or sealed? Victory achieved! Oh, 
soul searcher ashes. I think it was because of the Night of the Blades, wasn't it? Or like the Rune of Death was stolen, something like that. But some of it, uh, some of it escaped into the world. 